I'm Frank Caprio, corporate trainer here at Hosemaster, and today we're going to talk about measuring the length of a flexible metal hose assembly. Sometimes customers ask us, which way do I measure this hose? And there's a couple different options there. One is to measure the overall length of the assembly, and the other method is to measure the live flexible length of the hose assembly. Traditionally, the live length, or the amount of flexible hose between the fittings, is used to determine whether you have a sufficient hose length to accommodate a certain offset or movement, whereas the overall length of the assembly would be used to determine if the hose is going to fit in an application. When you're measuring that overall length of the hose assembly, you want to measure the overall length to end of fitting to end of fitting, and if it's got floating flanges on it, remember to measure to the face of the stub end on that floating flange. If it's female JIC swivel fittings, however, you don't measure necessarily to the overall length to the end of the nut. You measure to the seat of the JIC inside the female swivel fitting, which is the standard for our industry. Some of, the industry. Some of your customers may measure overall length to the end of the JIC nut, as that's some standards that are used by some of the hydraulic manufacturers that are out there. Either way, just let us know which dimension and what, where it was measured from on those JICs. If there are elbow fittings on the ends of the hose, industry standards dictate that you measure to the center line of those elbow fittings rather than measuring outside of the radius of the bend on those elbow fittings. But again, but again if you send us a sketch of the application with the measurements and dimensions drawn in there, we can help you figure that out. When you're measuring the length of a hose assembly, make sure it's laid out flat without any kinks or bends in the assembly. If it's a strip wound hose assembly, you want to make sure that that strip wound hose is in its relaxed length, midway point between fully compressed and fully extended, and then take the measurements on the length of that assembly. If you need any other help figuring out the length of the assembly, give us a call. We can help you out. There's calculation formulas in our literature and on our website, and if you need help beyond what those can assist you with, our technical staff will be happy to help out. Thanks.